Hi everyone, George here. And today I'm going to show you how to use external data in your app. Now this is useful for populating components like grid or combo that rely on data. You can also use it to repeat a component inside a layout based on data. You can access and configure data sources from the data tab in your toolbox. And data sources you see here are automatically shared with any app living under my projects or a group workspace. By default, you see a sample data source called Northwind to help you get started quickly. Let's set up a new data source by clicking the Add button in the toolbox and then selecting the REST API option. I've gone ahead and added a name for the data source and a description. From here, you have the choice to either upload a JSON file or configure a URL endpoint. You can of course create a custom data source by adding multiple sources. For now, let's add a JSON file and click on the select fields to continue. Now you see all the available fields in the collection and the detected data types. You can override the data types by clicking on the data type button and we show some recommended options based on what we have discovered in your data. On the left, you have the option to rename the collection and to add additional sources directly from this dialog. For instance, to add a URL source for JSON, add a collection from here. Now you can add a URL and any headers expected for your request. Once you're done adding sources, checking select all makes all the fields available for you to use in your app. Hit done to see the new data source listed in your data tab. You can then use the context menu to go back and edit your selections or to make changes to the source. Now that we have our data source configured, you can preview the data by binding it to a component. Components like the grid or combo are data bound by default and have a data property in the property panel that you can configure. Let's switch out the sample data and use the new data source we created by editing this data property. Now to simulate repeating items based on data, let's add a card and set the repeat property to data and select the preferred data source. Once you do this, the content field shows a connect to data icon button. Let's connect the title and subtitle to some of the fields available. To bind the avatar, select it and set it to the type image. Now you can connect it to an avatar URL available in the data source. The generated cards have a transparency to differentiate it from the source card and deleting the source card will remove all the repeated items. By default, we show five cards during design time, but you can change that. You can also add wrapping to the parent layout and set overflow to auto so that when multiple cards are shown, you still see them in a scrollable list. When you preview the app, you will see all the cards being populated based on data. And in the code preview, you can see how the repeat is generated in code. This wraps up the tutorial on how to add external data in your app. Check out the other videos on Indigo Design App Builder and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get updates when we post new videos. See you soon.